And now let's just, to start, do quick and dirty output of this thing as a table. So I'm going to end my main PHP island here, and I'm going to put some HTML in. So HTML colon 5 tab, English, this is going to be popular names. And then here, I'm going to create another PHP island where I'm going to output my table. So the first thing I'm going to do in this island is I'm going to start my table. And I'm going to use double quotes because I want to put new line characters in here table backslash n. And this is inside of a body tag, so let me indent it. Four spaces. And then I'm going to close the table. And then here's going to be the loop where I output my rows. So I'll add a header in a minute, but for now, for dollar sign i is zero, dollar sign i less than count of names, and dollar sign count not equal all or dollar sign i less than dollar sign count. So let's look at what this is doing. So this is stopping when either I hit the end of the table or the user has specified a count value and i is greater than the count. So that's when this is going to stop. It will continue if the user Actually, this should be equal, equal all. Right. So this will continue while i is less than the length of the table and either the user has specified all or i is less than the count that the user requested. Okay. And then we're going to go to the next line. So one row per line in the array. And so let's start by echoing a table row. And we'll indent this eight. And then we'll indent this 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And this will be a cell. So I'm just going to write the data that's actually in the table to start with. And the three fields that I have in my year of birth table are name, gender, and count. So let's go ahead and create constants for those as well. So name field is zero. And gender field is one, and count field is two. So let's output the name, which is going to be dollar sign names sub dollar sign i for the i throw and then I want to output the name field and then close off that table cell Oops. and then new line character semicolon so that's going to be the name and I'm going to repeat that for the gender
and for the counts. Then I'll close my table row. And that should output everything up to count from that table. So that's a start. Let's go ahead and see what we have so far. I'm going to go to names.php with no parameters. Ah, so I have to get rid of these backslash ends. I must have single quotes in there. Yeah, so everywhere where I've used single quotes here, backslash n, I need to go ahead and replace those with double quotes. So let's go control R, single quote, replace with double quotes. And I'm just going to get the errors. I'm going to have to go back and fix double quotes inside of double quotes. And that's fine, so let's skip that. And we'll replace that. And I think we're in good shape now. So now we have to fix a couple of embedded double quotes. So we'll use backslash four. And I think that should be everything. All right, so return. So year must be supplied. So that's not legal. So gender must be supplied. Count must be supplied. Year must be a number. So let's go 2016. Count must be a number or all. So let's go for all. Gender must be M or F. So let's go M. Year must be between 1880 and 2014. Let's go 1962. Great, so there's my data. So I have name, gender, and count.